got those orange cat ears. Yeah, I'm sure. Welcome to Loki's Critter College. This is a series of online courses for the non-primates of the house. Today's subject is biology. Isn't that right, Jack? That's right, Loki. A chihuahua from Puerto Rico writes, Buenos dias, Professor Loki. I have noticed sometimes my primates become irritated for no apparent reason after sitting down to relax in an internet forum, is it possible they are suffering from parasites? That's a very good question. Yes, Marmaduke, it is possible you humans are suffering from parasites. A parasite is an organism which depends upon a stronger organism for existence, but never makes a useful contribution, sometimes even causing sickness and harm. There are hundreds of different kinds of parasites in the world, fleas, ticks, worms, mites, but I would have to guess from your email that the parasite affecting your humans is a relatively new genus which mutated spontaneously from a human named Alex in 1980 and has been multiplying exponentially ever since. So because understanding the biology and behavior of a parasite will help you to get rid of it, today's lesson is the biology of Trolla intertella, or the common internet troll. While at first glance the troll appears to be a primate of some sort, it actually has much more in common with a jellyfish. For instance, while primates all have brains, the troll relies on a simple central nervous system instead. This lack of a cerebrum means that the troll is incapable of both logical argument, usually located in the primate's left cerebrum, and creativity, which is usually located in the right. They also retain no long-term memory and can only focus on one sentence at a time. However, since the internet troll devolved directly from a human, they retain the need for importance. As they lack the ability to feel important through creativity, they have adapted to feed on attention. And the easiest way to get attention from a human is to draw them into an argument. The common internet troll also differs from primates in that it has no backbone or reproductive organs. Being asexual and spineless means it has extra time to search for attention. When it feeds on enough attention to double in size, it will spontaneously divide into two organisms, and they will divide, and so on. Since the Trolla intertella has adapted to feed on attention rather than food, their anus is in their face. This means whenever they speak, they are talking out of their ass. Let's try an experiment. This particular troll is of the subspecies Acerba. Trolla intertella Acerba is more commonly known as the hater troll. Trolls have also mutated into other distinct subspecies, such as the flamer, the zealot, and the spammer. In this case, we happen to have acquired a common hater, because aside from the facts that they are plentiful and easily baited, they are the least intelligent of all troll subspecies. Mayday and I are going to try and show you some typical troll behavior. Ready? Yes, Loki. I'm going to try and stop eating fast food. I never liked fries anyway. That's on the mountain. Get on the floor. Okay. The troll's sensory receptors are waiting for a response so the troll can get the attention it needs to survive. Watch this. No, I was born in South Dakota. You can see this response has made it grow. If you watch closely, it will get smaller and look for stimuli elsewhere if I ignore it. So, Mayday. Why are you giving up fast food? Ethical reasons are 
reasons mostly. Pay attention to me! So, you want to come over for dinner tonight? Everything I have is made by Paul Newman. No fat! Okay, let's stop here. This is one of a few phrases which have been passed down in the central nervous system from troll to troll in their subconscious memory when they divide. These stock phrases usually include variations of You're fat You're ugly You can't dance You suck Shut up Stop posting videos And probably the most ironic Attention for Trolls have found that these phrases easily bait a human into argument thereby getting them the attention they need to survive and help them. So, Marmaduke, the best course of action to treat your primate's parasites is to distract them by doing something cute so they don't feed their trolls. Then the trolls will have to find another place to feed, and your human will be much happier. I hope this helped. Thanks for writing. See you next time. Thank you.